Hey, good morning, YouTube. So, uh, Saturday morning, uh, just unboxing the package from Evan last night there, 11 o'clock at night. So, anyways, I'm got my ass out of bed today. Uh, so, I'm going to take a closer look at this display. YouTube land. So last night after the video, I actually threw a compression test around it. It's probably about a, just over 150 psi on my gauge. Um, so it's healthy. It has spark, which is good. Um, so what does this need? Because this this is a 266 SE. I've actually wanted one of these for a while. So um, this thing is going to get get some work done to it. Again, tip top shape. But uh, off the bat, what I need is obviously a clutch cover. Uh, it ha I have the clutch that's in there, um, but I'll put the gear for the oil pump, um, side plates, uh, what else? Obviously need an air filter, which is already in order, need a throttle linkage, that's missing, um, top cover, top cover I'm going to order off AliExpress here in the next month or so, um, but yeah, I mean, it's not bad shape. I mean, it needs a really, really good cleaning, but uh, it's going to be a good one. I'm going to get some tools, maybe I'll pull the muffler, take a look at the piston. Be right back. Okay, so let's take a look at this piston. See, it explodes by the way. Turn it over nice and slow. A little bit different setup than the uh, 162. The 162 has the brace up to the top of the cylinder. You can see what year this saw is. It's kind of hard to tell the serial tags worn. It's either a five or a six. Oh. So let's say 85 or 86. I think that's how you read these numbers. Uh, there's quite a, seems to be quite a different, few different formats on how to read Husqvarna serial numbers over the years. Really looking forward to getting this one run. I gotta get the 162 SE done first. Uh, but I think, I'm hoping this weekend I'll get that one ready to rock to get everything figured out. Is that stud coming with it? Yeah, that stud's coming with it. It does tend to happen, I find. Exhaust gasket on it still. That's nice. Okay. I'm gonna bring it in here because there's some scoring on the piston. Um, I uh, can see that. Yeah, there's definitely some. Let's see if I can get the light on there. Yeah, there's definitely scoring on the piston. Probably gonna pull the jug on this guy when we get to working on it, because I actually do have a 52 millimeter kit coming, and this um, might be a good candidate for it. Uh, gotta use the one saws. Originally, I thought the 162, but apparently, putting the bigger jug on the 162 causes a few issues. Not a ton, but uh, apparently, need different carb bolts or some shit like that. So. So I think this so might get the bigger kit. I might take a look at the cylinder. If the cylinder's still good on it, I might just get a 50 millimeter piston and confirm that's actually a 15 millimeter setup on here. Because I think the big board kits for these were not were not rare. I think a lot of people put those on, depending on the history of the saw, I suppose. <clears throat> yeah, this is a fun little project. Uh, too many projects, but that's okay. Anyways, YouTube, I hope everyone's having a great weekend. Um, oh, 
probably talk to you again this weekend. But anyways, I gotta finish waking up, put this back together, and gotta go to donate blood at 11 o'clock. Take it easy.